on violence is the only way to get things done. I mean, violence just sp spirals in the in in and it, you you don't resolve the situation that way. Um, reason sometimes does, uh, emotion sometimes does, but violence won't do it. And and as I grew older and began doing confrontations with governments and others. Um, clearly violence doesn't work, right? You know, hacking, hacking, throwing, throwing rocks at the window uh, just doesn't do the job. Um, it doesn't work. I've learned over time that sometimes you can't pound the table and say it's got to be this way. Um, yeah. You've yeah. got to figure out what the other side is doing. And, and particularly in my line of work, which is convincing government to do a better job on making information available um you you need principles you, you you need the line in the sand but you also need to understand what they're doing the thing that i've been doing for a very long time is is making information available and that includes internet standards um making sure that they're available so anybody can read the rule book um, and in the 90s, I, I started putting big government databases online, uh, the patent database in the U.S., and I've been putting the laws online. And the government is always, isn't always very happy about that. And, and so what I'm doing is questioning authority. And, you know, often they're not happy about it because they don't understand technology's changed and they've always done it this way. But sometimes they get very angry. Uh, and so we're questioning authority. It's not like the liberation of India or, or you know, walking into a temple when when you're a Dalit. Um, but it is trying to influence the way the system works. And and there's some rules yeah. and, and there's a lot to learn. And so I, I, I did a lot of reading with Martin Luther King and our civil rights movement. Um, but, you know, Nelson Mandela, uh, but Gandhi. Is one I, and and there's certain rules like if you're going to go do something you don't hide and do it you tell them um, so if you're going to go make salt uh, in the sea you start by writing a letter to the viceroy that, that says dear friend dear friend uh, I don't have to go make salt you can simply get rid of the silly salt tax and here's my my reasons um, when you win you you should be magnanimous you you don't change the goalposts and say well I won but now we do this. Um, be nice, and and in fact, Gandhi, um, when he left South be, Africa, he be fair, be, be fair, fair, be fair, and, and but be magnanimous because you also. want the other side to be, uh, you, you want them to own it, right? They, they you yeah. won, yeah. you want them to own it. So, like when Gandhi left South Africa, he made sandals for, for General Smuts. And and the general wore those sandals. He was very touched. And and in fact, many years later, he sent the sandals back and said, "I'm not fit to walk in these shoes." And and they had a real relationship. And and one of the things I've learned is that when you're trying to get a large government database online, you know, there's a lot of people involved in these things, and they've been doing it this way for 50 years. You want them to own the solution. And, yeah. And that's. You know that yeah. that's that uh, himsa in a way. Uh, Martin Luther King says that, that change does not come rolling in on the wheels of inevitability. It comes only with continuous struggle. And and I th I think this is not a you know like a thing that happens and then you go home and have pizza. Um, no, no, I, I, no. I think you just have to have the values and and yeah. and keep just yeah. just keep working. But it's yeah. the open. That yeah. wins. And, yeah. and Tim Berners Lee could have patented the World Wide Web. And you yeah. know, he's been asked many times why didn't you do that? Yeah. Because like I said, it worked. It, it would not have worked. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. certain things only work if you give it away. Um That's and right. you're, you're you're not an owner of property and knowledge, you're you're a trustee, and that, that's a Gandhi principle, right? Gandhi said you don't own wealth, you're a trustee. And yeah. I think the same applies to knowledge. So what's happened is is the idea that everybody runs their own server. Um, you know, it's all kind of migrated into these large, you know, cloud systems. But you still have the innovation. It's still an end-to-end -end network. Um, there's still hope. Uh, you can still do distributed network. I mean, so our effort is to build a distributed public library of India in which everybody can scan books, everyone can serve books. And it isn't some big top-down, you know, government, like, you know, ordained 
system, and you can have that too. It's okay to have this big centralized system, but you also want the bottom-up grassroots things to happen. And I still think that opportunity is there. Uh, you just can't give up faith. If I sit down in a bar and they go, so what are you doing? Oh, I make the, the plumbing code of California available for free. Guy next to me invariably is going to be a plumber. It buys me a beer. He just goes, wait a minute, that, that's so good. I, I, you know, you can explain this in one minute to, to somebody. And, and that's the yeah. issues that I look yeah. for is people going over the edge. It's what Gandhi did with salt. Mm. You know, it's like salt. Really? It's taxed? Are, are you out of your mind? Um, you know, it, people yeah. can't afford salt. Uh, yeah. That That's just so ridiculous that everybody understands it. And I think that's one of the keys to civil resistance is you look for an issue in which the other side has really jumped the fence. Um, and when they, it doesn't mean you're going to win. No. But it means you can at least explain what you're doing um, in a way that makes some sense. The advice is twofold. One is is learn about the world around you. Learn learn widely. Like learn. Uh, don't don't just you know like do WhatsApp groups and stuff. But you know sit down and if you're interested in networking, read the internet standards. Right, they're they're all available. And, and that's how I began. Is I actually read every internet RSC and then I wrote a book about them. Um, so so read widely. But the big advice is pick one thing and focus on it for 10 years. And I, I don't care what it is. Adopt your local NGO and you're you're doing school lunches for people. Um, you know, maybe you're scanning books. Maybe you're doing the ultimate Canada fonts that do OCR better. Maybe, you know, pick something and focus on it for 10 years become the world's leading expert on that issue do it over and over and over again and and then eventually you're going to win right you're, you're going to come up with a solution to things you you will have understood the problem well enough and you understand the world around you well enough that you can come up with something that that actually makes a difference in your world and you can do that and, and people need to to focus in, and that, that's always my advice. Don't don't throw rocks at the window. If something's wrong and you don't like it, learn about it.